tutorial. Hi, I'm Monique from Beats and Basics. Thanks for watching this jewelry tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can make your own macrame bracelet. So this is the bracelet we're gonna make with the macrame knots. It's really easy and fun to make. And I'll show you what you need. Obviously you're gonna need the macrame cord. We have it in loads of different colors. Five millimeter spacer beads, which we have in silver and gold. You're gonna need some jewelry glue and a connector. And I'm using the connector for the 20 millimeter cabochons. We've got this cute flamingo ones, but we have loads of different colors and different patterns in our shop. So you can choose exactly what you like. Okay, so for the bracelet, we're gonna start with a piece of macrame cord that's about 30 centimeters long. You're gonna fold it double, and then you're gonna put it through the eye of your connector. And then you're gonna put both threads through the loop. And this is the thread you're gonna use to make your knots on. And I also want to add a small spacer bead. And to make it a bit easier with the cord, just carefully use a lighter to make it a bit more pointy. Yes, so that's our bead, and to make it easier, I'm just gonna tape this on the table. And I'm also gonna tape it on the bottom. So just make sure it's nice and tight, and that makes it way more easier to do the actual knots. So then you're gonna take another piece of cord that's a bit longer, it's about 80 centimeters, and you're gonna put them underneath your middle threads and make sure both lengths are the same size. And now we're gonna make the macrame knots. So you're gonna make one knot on the left side and one knot on the right side and we're gonna start with the left side so your left cord goes over the right then it goes under and then you're gonna put your thread from left to right under the two middle threads like this and it goes on top of this loop and then you just pull. And that's your first knot on the left side. Now we're gonna make a knot on the right side. So this time your right cord goes over the left, like this, under, and then from right to left, under both middle threads, and through this loop. And again pull so if this is the first time you're making this knot maybe it can be a little bit confusing at first but you'll see if you just make a couple you get the hang of it and it'll get way way more easier so I'll show you another time it's time for a knot on the left so your left thread goes over the right under and then from left to right under both middle threads and then pull right side right goes over your left cord under and then just pull now I also I want to add a small spacer bead so I'm just gonna push that a bit up so, so it fits next to the knots and we're gonna make another knot on the left side And as you pull this one, make sure it's tight and secure. 
not too tight so the thread goes under the bead but just make sure it's the bead is nicely in between your both threads and then we're going to make another knot on the right side like this and now I've used one bead but you can do it without beads or you can put beads all along the way just the way you like it and we're just going to continue making these macrame knots till you have half your bracelet so I'm going to do about five centimeters So I made the knots for one side of the bracelet and now we're going to start on the other side. So I finished both sides of the bracelet with the macrame knots and now we are going to finish it with a sliding knot. And this knot is the same knot you used to make the actual bracelet. So first you're going to tie a knot on both sides with all four threads. And then just push it a bit up so the knot is clearly next to where you finish the bracelet. Make sure it's nice and tight. And we're going to do the same on the other side. Perfect. Okay, and for the knot, you're going to cross the threads of your bracelet like this and we're gonna tape this onto the table and now you're going to make four more macrame knots over these threads so take about 30 to 40 centimeter of your cord goes underneath all your threads there so under the eight threads and then we're gonna tie four macrame knots so we're gonna start on the left side and it's just the same knot left over right under and then it goes under all eight of these threads and then just pull and also the same on the right side and for the actual sliding knot I usually make four knots but make at least four you can make six or eight but if you just do two it's not going to be as secure so we're just going to tie four of these knots like this so this is your sliding knot you can see I can make the bracelet bigger or smaller just by pulling the threads so first we're going to finish off the sliding knot that you made so just turn around and then tie a knot in these two threads make sure it's nice and secure and then we're gonna put a drop of jewelry glue on this knot and make sure you don't put too much glue so it doesn't drip down on the threads of your bracelet because then well you're not won't slide anymore so just lose a tiny drop of glue and 
and then I'm just gonna tape these two threads so we don't get confused and now we just have to finish off these cords so to have it on the right size you have to make sure that the bracelet fits the widest part of your hand so this is good you can make it a little bit more tight like this and you can either finish it off with beads so you can put some more beads on your cord or you can just tie simple knots which is what I'm going to do so just tie a knot in every one of these eight cords So I tied the knots in all eight threads and now you can just cut off the thread just next to your knot and if you want you can also put some jewelry glue on these knots. And now we still have the two, two threads of your sliding knot and these you're gonna cut just next to the part where you glued. So that's your bracelet almost done. You can see you can adjust your bracelet, make it bigger, make it smaller. The only thing left to do is add the cabochon. So we're just gonna put small drop of jewelry glue in the center of your connector just push gently and leave this to dry for about an hour and that's your bracelet finished. I hope you liked it. If you want to make a bracelet yourself, you can buy all the materials in our web shop. Just click on the picture right here and you'll go to the page in our shop to buy all the materials. If you liked it, give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for even more tutorials. Bye bye.